everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. I'm coming to you from the beautiful, beautiful Costa Rica, filming this at a retreat space called Casas Kismet. And this yoga practice is a more of a feel good, slow flow. It is well-rounded uh, with a subtle intention infused uh, of self-love and, and awareness in the heart. So take this practice at your own pace. A couple of blocks might be useful, not necessary, but if you have them, maybe have them at the top of your mat. Let's get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's get started on our backs. So let's lay down and we'll bend the knees and have the feet set up hip width distance apart as if you're coming into bridge. Your heels are close to your glutes, your toes are facing forward, and you can just have your palms down on the ground, arms by your sides. And then when you find your beginning position, start to settle into stillness and close your eyes down. From here, we'll take two cleansing breaths just to fully arrive here on our mat in our spaces. So exhale your breath through your nose and invite in a nice deep inhalation through the nose let your belly and chest fill up. And then a nice big exhale out through the mouth, release. Let it go. And we'll do that one more time. Big breath in, expand, take life in. And a big exhale, let it go, maybe let out a sigh. All that air goes out. Close your mouth. And now we'll shift the breath in and out through both nostrils. Just find a natural, effortless rhythm of your breath. Just creating the space here, allowing ourselves to land and arrive here on our mats and in our bodies and arriving to our beautiful breath and just allow this rhythm of breath to be smooth. So as you inhale, you'll feel the belly gently rise. And as you exhale, you'll feel the belly soften. So making the breath deep here and yet quiet and allow it to be smooth and seamless and balanced. So we're tethering our awareness to our breath and that'll allow us to drop into the present moment releasing any expectations, just being with ourselves in this way, in the here and now. Now as you're anchoring into your breath, we're going to invite in some movement to start to connect the breath to the body, the movement of the body. So we'll begin by coming into dynamic bridge. So feel your feet on the mat. And when your next inhalation arrives, you're gonna press your feet down, gently engage your glutes, and just lift your hips up towards a bridge pose. And then as you exhale, you'll lower your hips back down to the ground. And now we're gonna add in the arms. Inhale, lift the hips and lift both arms all the way up and back to parallel lines. Backs of the hands touch the ground behind you. And then as you exhale, you lower your hips and lower the arms back down, making this nice and smooth 
and we'll do that a few more times. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms all the way up. So you're sinking the breath now with the movement of your body. And then exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms down. Track the exhale with the movement of the body. Two more times. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the hips, lower the arms. And again, inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. This time keep the hips lifted. As you exhale, just lower the arms back down by the sides. Hips stay up, palms down to the ground. Making sure that weight is even in both sides of the legs. Gently engage the glutes. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Commit to stillness, find stability. Starting to enliven the back body. Remaining calm and at ease. You lift your hips slightly higher. Don't hold the breath. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the hips back down, upper back, mid back, lower back. Release your glutes, pause for a moment. Feel yourself a little more connected now to your body. From here, we'll bring the knees in towards the chest, interlace the fingers around the shins. You can be still or give yourself a gentle sway or rock from side to side. Continuing to breathe abdominal breath belly rises and falls. If you're rocking, come to stillness. Take your arms out to the sides, palms face down, and bring your legs towards tabletop position, knees stacked over the hips, legs together. And you want to pull the belly in and the pubic bone up towards your chin so that your lower back imprints into the ground. Imagine there's a seat belt holding, contain, containing the core. Legs stay together. We're gonna to come into dynamic twisting. So as you inhale here, we prepare. Shoulders stay on the ground. Exhale, bring your legs over to the left. Could be an inch or two or halfway down without lifting that right shoulder off the mat. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, legs over to the right. Left shoulder stays down, legs together. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, legs over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, legs over to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, over to the left, all the way. It's all right if your right shoulder lifts off just a little bit. Flip your palms up, and then take your left hand to hold on to your right thigh. Right palm is up, so you're externally rotating the shoulder. And we'll come into this simple twist. Breathe into the belly. Your head is wherever's the most comfortable for your neck. Beautiful. We're just warming up the spine. Palms back down to the ground. Push the hands into the ground. Inhale, bring your legs back to center, legs together. And then exhale all the way over to the right. Roll onto your right side. Right hand can hold on to the left thigh for support. Left palm flips open. Open up that shoulder. Relax the shoulders. And abdominal breathing here. Find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck. your palms back down to the ground, legs together, inhale, come back to center, and then exhale, plant your feet back down. From here, we'll draw the knees back in towards the chest, interlace the fingers, draw the thighs in, feel this gentle compression in your hip flexors, and then we'll either rock and roll up to all fours or roll over to one side and then meet me on all fours. If you rocked, maybe you might need to slide back a little bit. 
coming into tabletop position. So fingers spread wide, wrists under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll do a few cat cows to continue the opening of the spine. So inhale, release the belly, lift the gaze, relax the shoulders. Exhale, push the floor away from you, pull the belly in. Two more times, inhale, open up. Exhale, push the floor away, nose towards the belly. Feel that stretch in the back of the neck and the shoulders. And again, inhale to your cow. Exhale to your cat. Come back to neutral, let's do our puppy stretch. So your hips are gonna stay stacked right over your knees. You're gonna walk or slide the hands forward and bring the forehead down towards the mat. You can always slide a block under the forehead if the floor feels really far away or you can bring your elbows on the ground if that feels more supportive. If not, planting the palms onto the ground, shoulders glide down the back, slight pull in of the belly, and just opening up the thoracic spine, the upper back. Continue to breathe here. Now with care, we're gonna walk the hands back underneath the shoulders and zip the legs together. You're gonna sit back on your heels. You can always slide a block in between the ankles for a little more support. You can always stack two blocks if you need more support for the knees. Once you're here on your knees, we're gonna take our hands onto our shoulders and we're gonna open up the shoulders here. So you're gonna bring the elbows forward, up, back, and around. So inhale, elbows go up, back, and around as you exhale. So find your rhythm. Finishing off your last circle. Release your arms getting into the side of the spine, the side body. Inhale, reach both arms up. As you exhale, left hand comes down to the ground, right arm reaches up and over. Root down through your right sit bone and reach through your right fingers, chest stays open. Soften the shoulders, breathe into the right side of the body. You'll use your core a little bit here. Inhale, both arms reach up, extend the spine. Exhale, right arm comes down, left arm comes up and over. Left sit bone roots down. Reach through your left fingertips, chest is open. Breathe into this whole left side of the body. And then inhale, both arms reach up. As you exhale, lower the arms down by your side and you're clearing the space around you. Okay, we're gonna come forward onto all fours again. If you have your blocks there, just move it off to the side. And we're preparing for downward facing dog. So fingers spread wide, knees hip width distance apart. Tuck your toes underneath, push up and back downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent, push down through the palms. Give your head a little nod, yes, to release tension in the neck. And then start by pedaling out your feet. So you can bend one knee, bend the other, just opening up the backs of the legs. Your sit bones are reaching up and back. So this is more about lengthening the spine than worrying if the heels touch the mat or not. We're just giving the backs of the legs a little awakening, the calves. And then if you're pedaling the feet out, find stillness. You can still keep a little bend in the knees and sit bones reaching up high. So we're really pushing down through the palms. Continue to stay connected to your breath. Okay, bend your knees a lot towards the end of your exhalation. You're gonna walk or step to the top of your mat, feet hip width distance apart, forward fold. Again, you can keep the knees bent here. We're gonna slowly roll up, so keep the knees bent. Arms are gonna hang, head is gonna hang heavy, and the head is gonna be the last thing to roll up. We're gonna slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Nice and slow so you don't get dizzy. 
when you get to the top slowly, that's when you're going to let the head come up and then give your shoulders a roll back. Come into mountain pose, Tadasana, palms face forward. And then just give yourself a rock forward and back. So back towards your heels. It's a very subtle movement and then back forward onto the balls of the feet. So you're just playing with this centered space. From the centered space, you're just rocking forward and back. And once you find that, just find the space in between the forward and the back. Find that center point. Root down through all four corners of the feet. See if you can lift your toes and then relax them back down. Palms open, shoulders back, kneecaps lift, tailbone lengthens down. Eyes along the horizon. Stand proudly and courageously here. Eyes along the horizon, breathe. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Okay, now we're gonna inhale, both arms are gonna reach up. Shoulders stay soft. Hips stay, stay, stay facing forward. Exhale, twist to your right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Palms face open. Maybe either look to the side or look back to your right hand. And then inhale, both arms reach back up to center. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Palms stay open. Tailbone is rooting down. Hips stay facing forward. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, lower your arms down by your side. Give your knees a little bend, interlace the fingers behind you, loop your shoulders back, extend your elbows, knuckles down and away. Open up your chest, breathe in. And as you exhale, we're gonna fold here. So knees nice and bent, chin is in, and stay here with your arms, hands interlaced. Breathe into your belly, commit to stillness here. Belly rises and falls. Hands are interlaced, just gently release the hands back down towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to your shins or to your quads, shoulders back, chin in, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Place your hands down, step back towards high plank. You can always bring your knees down. And then on your exhalation, you're gonna shift slightly forward, bend your elbows towards the back of the mat, lower down onto your belly. Point your toes. Give your shoulders a loop onto the back, elbows in. Tops of feet press down. Inhale into your cobra or baby cobra. Chest open, elbows in. Exhale, lower back down. We'll do that two more times, nice and smooth. Inhale, lift the shoulder or the chest and the shoulders. Chin stays in, so there's this beautiful line along the spine, the back of the neck. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift, elbows in, shoulders back. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes underneath, elbows stay in. Inhale, push up through table or high plank. And then exhale, shift up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice breath in here. And an exhale out through the mouth, release. <sighs> Come back to your breath. Sit bones reach up and back, nice long spine. Okay, we're gonna step our right foot through in between the hands. Gently place your left knee down. And then we're gonna reach the arms up overhead. Drop your right hip down. Tailbone is lengthening down, low belly zips in. And we're gonna twist to the right, so your outside of your left hand goes to the outside of the right thigh, right arm's gonna go back, palm face is open. Keep dropping that right hip down. Your inner thighs are magnetizing toward one another. Breathe into your belly. Drop your right arm down, both arms reach up, inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows, cactus the arms, 
pull that right hip back lift up and out of your waist open up the chest show your heart inhale both arms reach up exhale take your hands down frame your right foot and now bring your sit bones back and your hips back and extend your right leg your right foot is flexed coming into a half split you can always bring blocks underneath your arms your hands for support soften the shoulders find some length in the spine chin is slightly in nice smooth seamless breaths Good. and then re-bend your right knee shift forward hands stay down tuck your left toes underneath and power up your back leg we're going to come into skandasana so take your right arm to the inside of your right leg lift your hips up slightly you're going to turn that left heel in toes are out your hips are going to open out to the left you're going to walk your hands all the way back to the left to the back of your mat bend your left knee and extend your right leg okay So you meet your edge, wherever you meet that point of resistance, support yourself here, and drop into your breath. Beautiful, and then re-bend your right knee, extend your left leg, shifting back to the front of your mat, and then face your front of the mat, all 10 toes face forward. And then from here, you're going to have your gaze, your eyes looking forward. We're going to step into that right leg, hands a little bit in front of you. So step into that right leg, extend and lift the left leg, half split, halfway lift with the spine. Left foot is flexed. And then exhale, lower the left leg down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to shins or quads, shoulders back, chin in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Arms reach all the way up. Exhale, palms touch in front of heart center. One cycle of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up, nice and tall. Exhale, a little bend in the knees, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your hands down, step back to high plank or knees can come down. When your exhale arrives, to your next exhale, you're gonna lower down, elbows hug in, come all the way down to the belly. Now from here, you're gonna come onto your forearms. Elbows are just under the shoulders, maybe slightly forward, palms face down. Your forearms are parallel to one another. Tops of feet are pressing down. We're just gonna activate the core a little bit here. Nice, deep, deep core work. So from here, we inhale. So make sure that we're not collapsing in the shoulders. You wanna push the forearms down into the mat, elbows hug in towards the chest. And it's like your chest is coming through the windows of the shoulders. So inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck the chin in, and then you're gonna pull the belly in, 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 tuck the tailbone under, 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 tuck, 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 so much that you start to lift the hips. So tuck, 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 tuck. And then slowly with control, you inhale, release the hips back down and bring the chest through the shoulders again, head lifts. We'll do that twice more. Exhale, tuck the chin in, pull the belly in, tuck the tail under, tuck, 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 lift, tuck, 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 tuck. You might shake a little bit, that's okay. And then with control, release the hips, inhale, bring the chest through, head through. And we'll do that one more time. Exhale, tuck the chin in, pull the belly in, tuck, 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 lift. And then slowly with control, release the hips down, inhale. Open the chest, lift the gaze. And then as you exhale, wing out your elbows, lower your chest down, stack your palms, one on top of the other. Rest your forehead on the backs of the hands, just relax everything. You can give your hips a little sway if you'd like. And just breathe your belly into the ground, creating space in the lower back. And as you exhale, soften. Okay. From here, bring your hands back to the upper chest. 
on either side, elbows in, tuck the toes under. Inhale, push up, either through table or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just to clear the space, let's inhale here. Exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> All right, from here we're going to bend the knees a lot towards the end of your exhalation. We're gonna step the left foot through between the hands, gently place that right knee down. Inhale, reach both arms up. Drop the left hip down, low belly zips in. And then as you exhale, we'll twist to the left, to the outside of your right hand, comes to the outside of the left thigh. Left arm reaches back. So you're using this traction of your right hand to your left thigh. Drop the left hip down. Chest is open, shoulders soft. Breathe into your belly. All right, drop the left arm down. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus the arms. Left hip pulls back, right knee comes forward as you lift up and out of your waist. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, lower the hands down and bring your hips back, coming into the half split. So you can always bring your hands on blocks here, flex the left foot towards the face, softening the shoulders, and find some length in the spine. Imagine as if someone has tied a string to your heart and is gently pulling that string, and that might help to open up the chest a little bit. All right, now we re-bend the left knee, shift forward. Tuck your right toes underneath and power up the back leg. You're gonna bring your left hand to the inside of the left leg. We're gonna come into Skandasana on the other side. So lift your hips up a little bit and then draw your right heel in, toes are out, face the right side of your mat and continue walking all the way to the back. Bend your right knee, extend your left leg. Maintain some support and effort in your legs and your muscles, but at the same time find ease. Relax the shoulders. All right, re-bend the left knee. So walk your hands over to the left, extend the right and continue back to the front of the mat. Frame your left foot, all 10 toes face forward. We're gonna prepare to step into the left leg. So gaze is forward, hands forward. Step into the left leg, extend both legs, right leg lifts, half split, lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the right leg beside the left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, shoulders back, chin in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down to rise. Arms reach all the way up. Hands touch into heart center. Exhale. Stay here for a cycle of breath. All right, last flow here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tailbone lengthens down as you lengthen the spine. Little bend in the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back, continue your flow through plank or through the knees down. The exhale lowers you down. The inhale takes you into cobra or baby cobra, elbows in, shoulders back, chest open. And then exhale, tuck your toes under, shift up and back, downward facing dog. Let's cleanse here, nice big breath in. And big exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Bring your feet together. Lift your heels and gently place your knees down, nice and wide, preparing for child's pose. Point your toes, sit your bum back. Relax your forehead, relax your elbows. Let your hips be heavy. 
Let your belly be a belly. Relax the stomach. Relax the shoulders. And allow yourself to reset here, recenter. Okay, start to walk your hands in towards you. We're gonna come into camel pose, nice and gentle. So we're going to stay here on our knees, have a little space between your legs. So legs are a little separated and then come to stand on your knees. If you'd like and you have a block, you can place a block in between the upper inner thighs to keep that rotation, internal rotation of the inner thighs. Tailbone is lengthening down. This is gonna protect your lower back. You don't need the block if you don't want it. But tailbone lengthens down and low belly zips in. And this is what's gonna create stability in the lower back so you're not dumping in the back, okay? So we're gonna take our hands to the, just above the glutes, fingers facing down and give your shoulders a loop back. Chest is open, but again, Glutes gently engaged, tail down. From here, you're gonna push down with your hands and it's as if you're bringing your hips forward and then start to lift up and out of the waist. So you're not just going back. There's this rooting down and lifting up and out. Your chin can stay in or you can let the chin go back ever so slightly, but don't let it drop all the way back. You wanna keep the line of the spine continue to breathe your breath might shift a little bit more up into the chest as you inhale as you exhale we soften whenever you feel like you want to come out come out nice and calm and when you do feel like you're coming out imagine that string again tied to your heart and someone is pulling it up and then as you exhale you sit your sit bones back down to your heels Pause here, flip your palms up onto the backs of the thighs, shoulders back, close your eyes, and just rest your awareness in your heart. Now we have the opportunity and option to move into camel or Ustrasana one more time, or you can stay right here with your palms up and just be with your heart. If you need a little bit more or would like a little more opening physically to clear some space, let's go into camel one more time. Nice and easeful. Come to stand on your knees, hands above the glutes, tailbone lengthens down, gently engage your glutes, find that stability, shoulders onto the back. When you feel ready, start to lift up and out of the hips, out of the waist, chest open, chin in. Maybe you close your eyes or keep your eyes open. Inhaling into the chest, just opening up the heart. And then at to come out, we inhale and then exhale. Sit your hips back, flip your palms up, backs of the hands onto the thighs, shoulders relaxed, just open. Close down your eyes and rest your awareness into the spaciousness of the heart. Knowing that you are exactly where you're meant to be. Trusting yourself. Come into a seated twist, bring in some balance. So you're going to just lean over onto your left side and swing that right leg forward all the way around so the right foot is to the outside of the left thigh. 
Both sit bones are rooted down. If you need to sit up on a block, you can absolutely do that. You can also extend your left leg long if it doesn't feel good to have the left leg bent. Wherever you are, make sure both sit bones are rooted. Your right hand comes behind you. Use the hand on the ground as a, a support for a tall spine. Left arm's gonna reach up, inhale. And then you're gonna exhale, twist to the right. Either hug the right thigh in or hook left tricep to the outside of the right thigh. Chest stays open, chin slightly in, drop into your abdominal breathing. Beautiful. Untwist, come back to center. Pause in the center, interlace your fingers around your right shin. Pausing here. Receive the effects of the twist. And now we're going to simply switch to the other side. So you can have the right leg now on the bottom, left foot to the outside of the right thigh. And if you'd like, you can always extend the right leg forward. Both sit bones down. Left hand now comes behind you. Use it as a kickstand for support. All about the spine. Right arm's gonna reach up, inhale. Exhale, twist to your left. Either hug the left thigh in or hook right tricep to the outside of the left thigh. So you wanna have that left thigh coming in towards the torso, torso towards the thigh. Chest open, shoulders back and then breathe deeply into your abdominal breath. Focus your eyes on one point, soft gaze. If you like, you can bring your awareness, the space between the eyebrows. Beautiful, untwist, come back to center. Interlace the fingers around the left knee, pausing here, receive. All right, last shape before Shavasana. Unravel the legs, extend them forward. We're gonna come into Pachimottanasana, seated forward fold. So I like to take my hands and just move a little flesh from the glutes. Find the connection of the sit bones to the ground. You can always sit up on something. If your hamstrings are a little tighter, feel free to bend the knees, feet flexed. Inhale, both arms reach up, thumbs back. Exhale, come down, grab a hold of your feet. Before we fold, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, shoulders back, chin in. And then as you exhale here, you're gonna fold, but maintain some of the length in the spine so we're not totally completely rounding. So maintain some of that lift so you're negotiating that between the fold, the lengthening, the softness of the shoulders, the chest staying open, and the chin releasing in. Here maybe you close down the eyes and again drop into the abdominal breathing. Smooth, seamless breaths here. Inviting in this deep sense of calm and groundedness. Inhale, we're gonna extend the arms out, biceps by the ears, thumbs back, rise up with a flat back, feel the strength of your spine. And then exhale, lower the arms down onto your thighs, pause for a moment, receive.
Okay, now we're going to scoot ourselves up a little bit and we're going to lay ourselves down onto our backs, preparing for Shavasana. So take your legs out as long or as long as the mat, as wide as the mat, maybe a little wider. Take your arms down by your side, palms up. Maybe you lift your chest a little bit and gently tuck the shoulders under and then relax the back down so the heart space is nice and open. Let your ankles fall open. And let's just take one cleansing breath here. Inhale in, that's the inspiration. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Gently close your mouth. And just allow your breath to be absolutely effortless. Your whole body is resting on the ground. Allowing yourself to feel completely supported. There's nothing left here for you to do. This time is here for you to receive. Receive your practice. And to nourish all the multi-dimensional layers of yourself, of your being. Allow yourself to rest here in pure, spacious awareness.
Notice what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multidimensional being. And know that you always, always have access to this. This space of deep ease and centeredness is always available to you. It is your birthright. You can slowly and gently begin your return by deepening your breath. Start to bring some movement back to your body. Start to reawaken. Maybe you move your wrists, your fingers, your ankles. Bring your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch, stirring the body back into wakefulness. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. Acknowledge your efforts and for showing up for yourself. And roll over onto one side. Noticing how this shape feels to you. Taking a couple breaths here in this transitional space. And then we'll start to bring ourselves up to a comfortable seated position to close our practice together. Sitting up nice and tall. Let your hands just rest on your thighs or in your lap. Soften the shoulders, close down the eyes, the back of the neck is long. And let's enjoy these last few moments here with our breath, our sweet breath. Noticing the shifts, if there are any. And then from here, we'll bring one hand to the heart. The other hand on top of that hand, slight bowing of the chin. Notice how this gesture feels to you. Now from here, Take a nice sweet breath into your heart. Exhale here and have compassion and care and kindness towards your beautiful self. Giving thanks. And may we weave this intention into the rest of our days as we step off of our mat. It is always there, it's always within us. I thank you so much for your trust and for sharing your practice with me. From my heart to yours, namaste.